Please let me show you how we produce a complex roof model similar to the one below in just a few minutes. Construct roof track outline. Using our proprietary wall outline generator will produce the outline for the geometry of the roof. This is our usual starting point. Up 20, right 12, up 10, right 12, up 15, right 20, down 30 foot 6 inches, left 15, and close square. Now the reason we close square is that it allows us the opportunity to check that the dimensions we're using are correct. Now if the dimensions are not correct, it suggests that I made a mistake inserting the outline or the architect's plan is incorrect. If it was my mistake, I simply hit step back, put in the correct dimension, and close square, and then check that against the plan, and now I'm OK. Once we're satisfied with the outline, we select Finish, and then we check the parameters that will result in the correct geometry. The roof category will be metal. The story will be the first story. The slope, 6 in 12. Overhang from the wall to the eave, 2 feet. Overhang from the wall to the gable, 1 foot. Height from the ground, 13 feet. Rafter spacing. The software uses rafter spacing to calculate the number of fascia brackets and gutter clips. And then we specify the EVE category, whether it's a fascia only, gutter only, or fascia and gutter. Once we're happy with these settings, we select OK. And then we tell the software to produce a gable end on that side. We hit Continue, and the roof is produced. If we look at this in four views, you will see that we work in true 3D. And if I verify that line, we'll see that we, where that line is in all views. We are truly working in a 3D environment. Now this is a simple roof and most complicated roofs are actually a simple roof with a lot of complicated features added. And the strength of Applicate is the ease with which we can add these architectural features. And nearly every architectural feature you can imagine is just a single mouse click away. Let's try a few of these. The first thing, and probably the most simple, is the function that we call drop eve. Then perhaps we can add an atrium. Now an atrium allows us to install an opening in the roof that goes up the roof, or an opening in the roof that goes down the roof. The AppliCAD software provides many, many tools for modifying existing geometries, such as turning a gable end into a hip end, or turning a hip end into a Dutch gable, otherwise known as a Boston hip. If we undo that, we could also turn the hip end into what we call a layback. So we make that, say, a 1212, and OK. Or we could turn that into a, back into a gable end and put our layback on a gable end. 6, 12, and maybe we'll make that 5 feet wide, OK. If we look at that in the isometric view and spin that around, you'll see what we're producing here. We can undo that. Every command, you can undo all the way back to the session. So if you're not sure what to do, you simply try it. And if it doesn't work, hit undo and try something else. Back to a plan view. We have a thing called ship's gable. Install a ship's gable. And if we look at that in the front view, you'll see what we've got. Undo, redo, undo, redo. We could do this all day. Plan view. Other things that make a roof complicated and are often very difficult to install are what we call valley gables or hip gables. Slope of this may be 612. 
and we might uh, distance along might be four feet and we hit OK and that goes in. We could use the same function to put a gable end on a hip or we could put a flat plane that goes all the way to the apex or we could use the function called hip valley dormer measure back from the length of the even plan specify the width and the dormer slope and hit OK we look at this in isometric view you'll see the sorts of things we're creating here in any other program this stuff is very very difficult to produce in applicate it's just a couple of mouse clicks we might put a dormer in put a dormer here slope will be the same as the rest of the roof distance along we might make that 15 the width of it we might make 14 and we'll make it stick out of the roof by 15 feet preview that very good insert that but then we might put another dormer in on the dormer six feet along we'll have them six feet wide maybe one foot overhang preview that beautiful insert that maybe we'll have one on the other side too just for fun insert that so you can see as we've constructed this geometry we're building a very complicated roof model and it's all very very simple once you know what the commands do it's just a mouse click away We're not done yet. Let's go berserk. We'll make a second story on top of this roof. Put a second story up here, across here, maybe across to here. Close, square, OK. This will be a second story and the E height will be 26 feet. Hit OK on that and continue. If we look at that in isometric, you will see that we have one roof above another roof. Well, of course, that's not practical. We have to delete the material from underneath, so we use our advanced cutout function. Auto track around the wall of the second story and cut out the first story. As simple as that. We also have an, a, a, an interesting little function here called split gable. We did a split gable on that gable end, um, parallel to the right hand side with a tuck under of one foot to go to the wall, hit OK. And just to show you that was no fluke, let's do that again. We'll spin that around, back the other way, minus 0.5. You can see what we built there. And we can do that again. And you can see what we're producing. Split gable on this gable end. Very nice. So, very complicated roof shape in just a few minutes' work. In fact, less than 10. Everything we need to know about that roof, we now know. We can now apply roof materials to it. We can generate cutting lists, and we can generate parts lists, and we can generate client proposals with fully dimensioned drawings. This is all possible with AppliCAD. If your software doesn't work like AppliCAD software, perhaps you need to give us a call. Drop us an email or respond to this one, and we will set up an online presentation where we show you everything that the AppliCAD software can do. There is no roof we cannot model. There is no material that we cannot extract a materialist for. But I look forward to uh, speaking with you again, and I thank you for your time.